Okay, back into working on the old cog wheels in my shop today. Well, I bought the stepper motor belt that was too small. Paid like eight bucks for it, but it's, I still found a purpose for it. You know, anyway, so I took and, and super glued it onto my cog wheel on the edge here. See right here? It's to give it a, a you know, something for the, something for the, uh, let's see, this is a uh, timing belt to an automobile, like 40 bucks for this belt, and I'm going to cut it down to size or the right length to, to super glue it onto the cog wheel, and I'm going to take and, and uh, I've got a line I put on here that's about, uh, a little over a quarter of an inch so it's a little over a quarter of an inch so I'm going to cut it down using my uh, cut it down to size and then I'm going to laminate it or I mean super glue it onto this this cog wheel so so here goes here I have a scroll saw that I'm going to go ahead and use to trim it down some to the right length. Taking it down to a little over a quarter of an inch right here. See, and that'll be my teeth for my cog wheel. Okay, it's all cut out. I see the teeth on this are much better. Look at those teeth on this. The teeth on this, uh, uh, yeah, the teeth are much bigger than this one set of stepper motor belts. Look at the teeth on this is so small. You know, I couldn't grab very well when the cog wheel goes to turn it, but this timing belt teeth are much bigger, so they'll be able to grasp on better. Now, with this lip on here, I used from the stepper motor belt to give it a little wider this plywood was a little too thin for this stepper motor belt so now this I'll set this hot I mean I'll super glue this on top of that and reinforce and that'll be perfect for the teeth for the cog wheel see and then I'll go ahead and go ahead and uh, reinforce it here a little bit more with some with some uh, some glue in there and, and reinforce the edge of that and we should be have a little more solid solid cog wheel and that's it that, you know we'll keep on going